Hello, today I'm going to review a figure of Gru from Despicable Me, the Ringin's Rise of Gru. So, you can see right here on Gru, he's got his big bald head, like he always has, and his big bulky body with those skinny little legs. And I'm kind of disappointed that he doesn't come with any minions. But anyway, the joke is done now. I'm going to be reviewing Kingpin from Marvel Legends. This is the Hawkeye version. And this is the only figure that I bought from that line, as I just enjoyed Kingpin a lot. And I couldn't find any of the other Hawkeye characters. So I just settled with Kingpin, even though I do like that character a lot. So anyway, I'm going to start with the articulation on this figure. You can see that he has articulation in his shoulders, in his elbows, and in his hands. He also has articulation in his head. And I can't really tell there's any articulation in there, but there is something in the hips, like that. And I don't think you can open up his jacket. I'm not going to try. I've tried prying a little bit. There's not. I don't think you can. He has articulation in the knees, of double joints and everything, and articulation in the feet. So that is all of Kingpin's articulation. So next we'll go on to the details. Looking at the details on him, you can see they put a lot of effort into his face. He has a very bald head that reflects a lot of the light. Kind of looks like Gru from Despicable Me. And around the back, you can see where his ears are. Kind of creepy how the joint in the back of his head works, but there's not really much space for anything else. You kind of just do that to avoid that, though. He's very big, and he has a white suit on. And um, looks a little wrinkles in the suit. Very detailed, as I said. He has this little staff that he always has in the show with a little white diamond on the end. And it just fits into his hand like that. Around his pants, I like the way the joint is put in there. It just kind of fits perfectly. And he also has a lot of detail in the little boots that he wears. So I'm going to try putting him into a pose and see how that looks. So I'll do that now. Wait, hang on just a second. I forgot to show something. He does come with two extra hands if you want to put his hands in the fist so he can be punching somebody to death. But anyway, now I'm going to put him into a full pose. All right, I just got done putting him into a cool pose. This is about as far as I could get, but I think this looks pretty cool. And uh, I put the little staff in his hang like it was before, a little bit further up though. And I like the posability on this figure. I think it's very cool. So anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.